Hello and welcome to this new session. So this is the Terraform function part 2 in which we are going to discuss two more functions that is the encoding and the file system. Okay, so this video is going to be very important because I am not going to show you only the how the functions will work but how the things will be implemented as a Terraform code. So we will take a very good example uh, for using the functions as well uh, because it, it will give you more clarity about the functions that how it's work. Okay, so um, uh, Terraform functions, uh, as I already mentioned you, we have uh, several uh, inbuilt functions in the Terraform which you can use to, uh, in the Terraform uh, infrastructure as a code uh, to use it um, uh, to build our infrastructure, to build your resources in any of the uh, cloud provider, whichever supported by the uh, Terraform. Okay, so uh, you can't define any means, you can't define any functions and that is not supported um, till date. So user cannot define their function own, they have to use inbuilt. So in the previous video, we were already um, discussed about the nimble function, string function, collections functions. Okay, if you didn't refer my channel, uh, that video for the channel, and then you can refer uh, that video videos for more clarity on the function aspect. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe it. This will always motivate me. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about the encoding functions file system functions okay so now i'm jumping to the environment so this is my uh, you can say the demo environment for the terraform we are from where i'm building the resources okay so now uh, write me the terraform console where we uh, are doing the, uh, the functions related activities okay so uh, for the encoding functions if you refer the documentations again Okay, so for the encoding, you can find the several encoding functions we have, uh, like uh, base64 decode, base64 encode, uh, base64 um, ggip, and uh, uh, rest of the related with the JSON and the text. So all have the similarity features, but just you need to um, call that functions and see the descriptions uh, how to how to use uh, that particular functions. Like for the base um, uh, encoding and decoding, where we are going to use it and why it's required. Required. like uh, if you uh, remember if when you launch an instance um, for the any operating system at the end you can find uh, the user data uh, when the systems get created the operating system builds up then you want to um, uh, execute some bash script uh, health and then you can you have the options that the user data has already been base64 encoding so uh, for this uh, information so you have to encode into the terraform file uh, and pass th those informations uh, to the to the terraform uh, through the terraform to the uh, cloud provider in in that case you can use it okay so um, regarding the base 64 suppose uh, i want a simple uh, text to be encoded at the base 64 so we have to write base uh, 64 encode because we are encoding encoding what we are encoding we have to write in a text like um, uh, hello okay and then i can close it so you will find that this information we have uh, logged here uh, this is the encoded and when we want to decode the same information using the base64 so you have to write base64 okay decode as simple as that okay so just paste it here this is the same uh, encoded uh, uh, things and that we want to decode now so hello will get you get the hello as a uh, output so this is related with the base, base 64 similarly for the other functions in the encoding you can use in the same way so the, it's a it's a not the, the tricky and you as we use the base 64 you can go and uh, check the documentations and you can proceed accordingly uh, for the encoding functions okay so um, this will be very easy for you guys Okay, so now I'm going to the file system. If you look again into the documentation for the file system, so you can you have the several uh, informations you can get uh, using the file system uh, absolute path direct uh, directory name the path expand base file file exist or not you can check it before using the file uh, this is the one of the good features that you can uh, use it uh, very frequently first you check either the file exists at that particular location if not then you can create a file and then then use it 
uh, it's depend upon the re your requirement okay uh, the, the template file uh, which is very important and very uh, demanding this function uh, you can use uh, several times in your organizations uh, so I, I will bring a demo on that as well uh, in this video only so the, so the, the it is it will be made more clear to you guys that how to use the functions in the terraform code okay so now i have to use the file system so uh, suppose uh, i i'm looking for some files content okay uh, like uh, uh, the file not exist in my environment but i i'm looking for some informations like uh, I will write file, okay, and then within the within the course using the dollar uh, symbol, okay. Uh, I I will searching for um, uh, sub any of the path like uh, in this particular directory the path dot module, okay. Then I am going to close it and my file name anything my text like my text dot txt i am looking for this file to read by the terraform and this file not exist so you can see um, here the file not exist um, which have the name my text dot txt so it will it will throw an error the file will not exist in, at that particular uh, locations so no file exists so i am going to create one uh, let me put the same name my text dot txt okay uh, this is a sample text file okay let me save it and now i am going to uh, use the uh, same uh, uh, command again so you can see that uh, it's uh, now i start reading because it fi find the file at the same locations and it start reading okay you can also uh, use the file exist function either the, this particular file exists or not so it will return uh, you a boolean value so that you can check uh, before um, uh, reading the reading the file at particular location you can check either the file exists or not so how we can uh, use the file exist function file exist okay uh, and the, all those things are same you have to pass the dollar sign okay uh, the, the double quotes you have to write a uh, dollar sign and then uh, braces path dot module the same thing okay and then you are going to close it and then you go to for the searching of the my text dot txt so so file exists and that's why it's saying that the file exists if it, suppose i deal going to delete this file let me remove it okay then now the file not exist or again uh, i'm going to uh, search for that particular file then it will simply say told said uh, mess, give me the message like it's uh, like false that, that the file not exist in that particular locations with the same name okay now coming back to a template file uh, so the template file have uh, two uh, value that you need to uh, provide the path okay so with particular template uh, you are going to use and what is the variable that you can you can use as a placeholder you can say okay the path which have the template okay uh, for to use in the terraform file and the the variable part is a placeholder that you are going to place into that file so uh, for this i am going to demonstrate you that how you can uh, execute the terraform file because in the console i cannot show you in a better way so um, to have a more clarity in this Terra template file function uh, i have to build an infrastructure for this okay so it will be very easy and i will demonstrate you one line by line like like what we are going to do so <clears throat> here you can see that this is a variable file i am going from the last to top okay this is the ami id this is the variable we are we, we keeping the image name and the instance type i am using the t2 micro the reason i am using the mumbai reason okay this is the new one uh, new variable okay and this is helping us in, uh, in using the terraform file function okay what this variable have the informations it have the default value of a string type http d why we are going to use it because we are writing some uh, bash script in which we are calling this variable to install it and then we can jump into the system and check the, the, which types of installations has been done using the user data okay so this is the user data that we are going to call in the in the path 
the first value first value will be the user data template okay so i created a user underscore data template where we are going to update the machine okay whatever the instance we are going to create and we are going to install with the y flag what we are going to install what we are going to install the package name okay and from where this package name will come from the variables okay so uh, we are dynamically using the placeholder instructing the um, uh, environment to create to install this particular package okay so we are not going doing hard coded and this is the beauty of the template file we have the template which have the placeholder and we are dynamically populating that particular template okay so if you go into the uh, terraform issue 2 what we are doing this is the similar things okay provider informations we are using the aws we are choosing the region which is the uh, mumbai region and here you can see that um, for the instance i am picking the ami id instant type is using from the variable t2 micro and here user data this this place we are using the template file first information is which template to use and the second is the variable part which we are going to use as a uh, variables and this is the security groups that we are creating for for the sss so that we can check into the machine and what we are going to check into the machine that i am showing you and this is the web environment for the access of the uh, http and https access okay so two uh, SSH, uh, you can say security groups we are creating and this is the name of the function that you we are going to use as a tag okay hope all the things are clear to you if you have any doubt you can put a comment into that particular video i am very happy to answer those questions okay regarding the security groups okay so we are going to create a security groups here okay you can see the, the security groups uh, informations uh, we already provided uh, for the um, uh, these all things i already written down to just uh, not uh, stress the videos so much just make it short and uh, give you the informations what i am what i want to provide you okay so um, this is the name and this will pick the terraform space uh, work uh, space uh, default name okay uh, and the security groups of the vpc here you can see the ingress ingress we are using the for the uh, port 22 and uh, egress is for the all the port okay and the security uh, this is the another vpc web okay and uh, this is uh, we are allowing the port 80 and the port 443 and uh, the egress is the outbound traffic uh, for all the ips okay one thing i that missed is this one so after creating when the package informations we received as a placeholder to install it after that we are executing the command yum list install it will grab for the package name okay and then it will um, write into the file okay so what types of packages um, get downloaded get installed into the machine and then we connect in that particular machines and then we are going to see the list of the uh, what our the installation has been done after creating the uh, instance so let me do that uh, terraform in it i already initialized this terraform but i am doing it again for more clarity from the beginning okay terraform plan okay so it will provide you the plan and uh, don't jump to apply first see the plan very carefully don't use the auto approve flag that will be very dangerous so three instance three resource it's adding uh, two of them are, are the security groups and one is the instance you can mm, see those information as well let me so this is the instance okay one instance and the two security groups okay so that's why it's saying three information three resources it's going to create uh, data form apply again it will uh, give you the plan uh, before this uh, confirming i am just showing you the our console here is the ec2 i am using the mumbai region and all the deployments is going on the mumbai region where i don't have any mas uh, machine which is running or stop okay so uh, you can see that uh, it's clear uh, clean let me give the confirmation 
So first is it will um, uh, start creating the, the security groups, then it will link that particular instance and uh, start creating the instance. After that, uh, what instance, whatever the user data we provided, uh, the placeholder uh, will, uh, the security groups will create it. And then the use in the user data, the, all the placeholder will get placed and uh, start doing the system update, the installation, and then it will execute this command and graph for this package name and then write into this particular file package list. We will uh, look in, jump into the, that particular machine as well to uh, see this information in the temp. Okay. So all things looks good. Apply complete. Uh, give me uh, uh, them uh, two or more or four seconds because uh, it will uh, update and then install the environment. So hopefully it will be completed. So I am going to connect this machine. Okay, EC2 user, yes. So I am going to cd into the temp. Why I am seeding uh, going to temp? Because uh, I created a file. If you if you link it, look into the data, uh, we created a package list.txt into the temp. Okay, that's why I am going to cd uh, temp. So you can see that the package list.txt file is generated. Now I am going to cap this. So all the all the things uh, are written down here. Okay. So all the uh, infrastructure is created as per our code. And uh, here you can see that the instance have the security groups and all the things get uh, get linked to security groups. Okay. So whatever the information we provided is uh, successfully uh, be able to build the environment. Okay, so this is the beauty of the Terraform and the template uh, file function. Uh, hope you guys like this video. Now I am going to uh, destroy this uh, machine using the Terraform destroy auto approve. So it will not ask me for the confirmations. It will destroy all the instance created in the AWS environment. So please um, give me a like on, on this video if you really want to appreciate my work and do subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe me yet, it always motivate me. Keep learning and have a nice day. Thank you for watching this video.